the Le Mans block. This is the first time I've ever done a block, and it's quite exciting. Um, I'll be getting experience as time goes past, but um, I'll be sharing my whole experience, my whole point of view, and yeah, um, it is what it is. If it isn't the best, I apologize. If you like it, subscribe, like the video, and yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, so far so good. Of course, it's only day one, we've not seen any on track action yet, but I can only say it's been roughly now. And it's, yeah, so um, keep updating, of course. But I'm afraid that until tomorrow morning, you're not going to be able to see anything. So, yeah. Day two was really eventful, you can say. You know, we just as we woke up here, have a little bit of a gift that they left somebody in the Tesla. And right as we got in, we saw racing. It was the Porsche Carrera Cup. You, they don't make as much noise, but in real life, you could actually hear them quite a lot. But after that, we went straight to the fan zone again. We saw the new BMW LMDH, the new Ford, the engine from the new um, hydrogen uh, Toyota. We saw the NASCAR G56, the Ferrari 499P again. We saw the R18, which is my favorite car. A lot of things were really in the fan zone. And as soon as we ended there, we decided to go to the to the Dunlop Bridge. Here you have a great, uh, a great view of what we saw. And from then onwards, we saw most of the race there. So here you have a clip of a start. After the clips here that you've seen about the star Ferrari retaking the lead, we decided to go to another place here we can see in turn one. Not the best view, but still it was quite high for me, so I actually I actually could look at it. And then we decided to move to the to the bar that there is before turn th turns 34 to 38, and it started raining like an absolute monster. After it stopped raining, we decided to go back to the camping where I remember I met up with a friend called Finn. You have his Twitter in the description. Go follow him because he gave me one of the biggest things that I could have wished for. A driver card signed by Dorian Pan. It was probably the best thing that anybody's ever given to me, really, because I have that in my collection, like if it was a treasure. So again, thank you, Finn. And after that, we had dinner and we went back to see how the race was, like nighttime, and it was just spectac spectacular, really. Here you have some clips, but wow. We also caught, by the way, here you have it, we also caught Felipe Nasser and his engine issue in the number 75 Porsche Penske, which was actually quite a surprise to see. But yeah, here you have some more clips about how it all sounded. <laughs> I'm 
amazing. Experience like no other. Really. I can't express. It's just... I don't think words can express this. After this, uh, the safety car came out and we decided to go back to bed to uh, come to a tent because we thought that it would be the only time we slept. Yes, I slept, I'm sorry, but I, I was really tired that day. And we woke up again to the sound of cars, of course, mainly the NASCAR. And really, when, as soon as we woke up, I remember when we entered the track, I heard a lockup and I thought something's happened. And as soon as we got in, Michael Fassbender had crashed and you could actually hear it all the way back. It was, it was like 500 meters back how badly he locked up and I really felt sorry for him. I really wanted him to fight for a podium in a GTM class, but unfortunately did not go to plan. And yeah, here you have the rest of I'm going to leave you now with the rest of the blog really up until the finish. Uh, and yeah, enjoy it. Thank you.